But the one, like, the one person that I hoped would have come through was my dad. And so maybe, maybe it's just not the right time or whatever. The, I mean, like, I, I thought that was going to be such a, a strong... Big emphasis. Yeah. Sure. It, I never have any control over who does come through. But what I will say is what I can do. Um, just give me his first name, give it a scribble, we'll see if anything comes through, we just give it a shot if you'd like. And if not, it's all good. Heck yeah! But let's just see, let's just see what happens, all right? So, uh, what was his first name? First name was Richard. Richard, okay, so I'm just gonna give it a scribble. And we will see what happens. He went by the infamous Dick. <laughs> Sounds good. Who came up with that nickname? I, I wanna know. know. We do. Huh. Uh, not sure what this is. They are showing me my symbol of, of referencing to geographical distance at the time of a passing. Is this regarding my father? Regarding dad, yeah, and the way this is coming in. There's some, they keep having me talk about expecting, like expecting, unexpected. It's really weird, it just keeps coming up. So it's like if someone's dealing with something or focusing on something, that's expected. But then it just feels like it took a turn into like unexpected territory. And then this passing kind of happens at a time where you're not actually able to be there. He's having me talk about his like fluids throughout the body and like my circulatory system, about like how my body would process or eliminate toxins. So think like liver, kidney, uh, did he deal with any difficulty with like toxicity, toxic buildup, anything along those lines? Yes, I mean, everything that you're saying is, is very like, like, I'm just like, I just wanted to like give you a moment to think, but like, um, he was on his second liver transplant. Gotcha. And, uh, and then the day that he was to be released from the hospital, he died of a heart attack. So it's like, I thought he was being released, so I didn't come home. So that's why I was far. And I just, I always think about it because I like, I wish I was home when it happened. And I feel like as his daughter, I feel guilty because family is super important to us. And that, like, And I was worried. I was like, should I come home? He was like, no, 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 no. And he was reassuring me, don't come home. And then I get the call that night from my mom, who I think found out from my brother that um, he had passed away. And I just remember feeling gutted. He comes across with such a joy, honestly, and such a happiness. Please know you've made him proud. And he does also acknowledge your partner, your husband, actually. And he's giving me thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. And he's kind of nice. like bringing him in like a son figure. I love that so much. <laughs> So there's a couple jokes here. One, there's a joke about someone not being a dog person. <laughs> Cause they're like, oh, the dog, but then there's a little dog. Check and see who had kind of like a, um, it kind of looks like a Yorkie. It's like that small. It's like a little nugget. To... And, um, <laughs> <laughs> but he's with it. He's like, this is, the dog's here. It's not necessarily like my first pick, but it's here. <laughs> Sweet Pea was his dog that she took when he died. <laughs> they were together. Uh, does that make sense? Yeah. That's with him. <laughs> <laughs> he hated dogs. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> and like, then Sweet Pea came into his life. Aww. And she's a Yorkie. Oh, I love it. <laughs> That's crazy. Nobody knew that he hated dogs. Nobody knew that he had a Yorkshire Terrier that he absolutely loved. How long ago did he pass away? It's now been four years. Wow. It's like not easy saying goodbye. And I think that like knowing that these spirits are around you and are still in your world is so comforting to know that it's okay and like do your best life because we're all just given one. Yeah, exactly. And when he looks at you, it's funny, I see a big star around you and he acknowledges seeing what you've done as we continue to live our lives. We take those people with us. You know? Totally. You're gonna take these people with you when you leave here today. I they're not going anywhere. They're with you, and you'll continue to honor them. So. I love that so much. Oh, I love, I'm gonna give you a hug. <laughs> You're so sweet. I love Tyler. There's so many moments that he connected, which I'm so grateful for because 
that's what today was all about.